Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, if, this is, if this is your first time here, my name is Rich and this is the Corvette Posse channel. What we're doing today is, so the weather is just, it's kind of cold. Uh, it's not really bad, it's just kind of cold. So not real great drive, driving conditions. There's not a whole lot going on uh, with being holiday week and everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take the 2018 Grand Sport and get it prepped for driving season. So one of the things I've done um, in the past, and I did a video on this, and I'll put the link down below, is I walked through and described all the paint protection I've done on the front of the car. So we've got the front of the car completely clear broad uh, with, with paint protective film. Uh, we've done the backs of the mirrors, done the A-pillars, did the top of the uh, the roof there. So I had that all professionally done. And then what I did separate uh, myself is I actually went and did paint, uh, some paint protection on these back fenders uh, with these uh, wide bodies, the Z06 and the Grand Sports. Uh, these fenders flare out and there's magnets for catching rocks all along the front of the uh, the brake duct here as well as this whole area here. So um, what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to remove what I have on there because it's got, it's got kind of pitted up. I can't see that with the uh, with the camera. It's gotten pitted up from rocks so it's obviously doing its job. I'm um, we'll going to go ahead and I'm going to replace that. So I'll show you how to uh, remove this and I'll show you how the process I go through to uh, cut off of templates I've made and then apply the new. So the tools that you'll need to do this is really not that much um, other than a lot of patience. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need some denatured alcohol that will be just used to prep the area. Uh, I'm going to need some plastic razor blades to get the, uh, the old film off. I've got the uh, application tool here and I, I like the ones that are felt tipped. Um, the, the film I'm putting on is 3M Pro Series. Uh, putting on 3M Pro Series so it it you know will will repair itself in the sun but I still just like this just to keep it from marring it up. And then also got another uh, foam application, foam applicator just to kind of help out. So, and then uh, just a bottle of uh, water with some baby soap in it. So I just get some Johnson Johnson baby soap, and got that water to help us with the application process. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, we'll go through the process of taking the uh, old off, and we'll get the other stuff put on. All right. So one other tool I failed to mention uh, you'll need is a heat gun. Uh, what we'll do is we'll use a heat gun to kind of heat this up a little bit. And that'll help us get the raised blade underneath it and get it off. So we'll go ahead and uh, heat this area up a little bit. Probably what is I'll pick a spot over here to get the uh, get this clear bra off. Very very delicately try to get underneath there. come apart a little bit. Oops, I may have just got a little too hot. It's easy, it's just to pull, don't, you can kind of pull it over itself as you're trying to get it off. Uh, you don't want to pull too hard because you're going to have it snap like that. But that's why we have the denature alcohol. Um, I'm just going to pull it back evenly the best you can, or as best as it will allow. Maybe we need to heat up a little bit. There we go. So it came off, and now you probably can't see that very well, but it uh, it got pitted up pretty good with uh, with rocks. So obviously it did its job. So what we'll do now is I got some I got a little bit of residue on here. So what we'll do is we'll use the uh, denatured alcohol and a rag and get that off. So we'll take just a little bit of this alcohol right here and just gently rub to get this residue off. 
come off pretty easy, really. What I'm doing here is I'm kind of going over, just really all over the, the edges have a little bit of, of uh, adhesive residue from the, from the paint protective film on it. So just kind of working that in and trying to make sure I have it all cleaned off because you want to have all that out of the way when you go to apply your new your new template because you don't want that to definitely show up underneath the, uh, the underneath the new. So go ahead and just work this whole area really good here. And you also, if you're doing this to your car for the first time, now this car. When we did this first time, I, I worked hard to strip all the wax off. You don't want any wax or anything underneath underneath that paint protective film. Uh, just to help with the adhesive. So what I do is I try to strip all the wax off, and then I'll just go ahead. When that's over, because it's covering it, so it's obviously protected. And then I go over it with the uh, with ceramic coating and and, uh, and all of that. So okay, we'll keep working on this. This is also a good time while you've got all this off in case you have any imperfections in your paint at all. Uh, this is a good time to go ahead and get those, get those taken care of as well. So I'm actually seeing a few in here that we're going to want to address. Okay, so for little areas like this, I mean, if this was a if this was a big job I was doing, I would want to bring in uh, my detail guy to have him just go ahead and go over the whole area. But since it's just I'm just seeing some light scratches right in here, and what I'm going to do, so what I use, I use this PSR, and what is this, it's a two-step process, where there's a little bit of um, like rubbing compound, and then there's a, a tube for the, for the polishing piece, so we'll go ahead and get the right tube, number one, repair. I'll put just a little bit of this on. This applicator here. Go ahead and rub it out with a clean. Wipe it off, I guess, with a clean microfiber here. So now I see I got some more residue. So that's the hard part with this, uh, with doing this, is you got in the right light. Because I see I've got a little more residue above the wheel. So I got another scratch here. So I'm just going to go ahead and address that right now. hard with these, especially the metallics, you have to get the right, get the light at the right angle because as soon as you pull this thing out in the sun, you know you're going to see the scratch. It just happens that way. So, we'll go ahead and get this uh, cleaned up and when we're ready to uh, start applying, well, we got, I got some other ones taped off too, so we'll take, I've got the stock one or the factory one here and I think a factory one here. So we'll go ahead and remove those. I've got templates, new templates that are much wider and longer than the factory ones. So we'll go ahead and get those off and then we'll uh, get ready to show you how to uh, cut the templates and get this back on. Okay, I am not gonna lie. Uh, getting the stock one off left a, a lot of residue um, the, the, the protective film did. So uh, getting that cleaned off was, uh, was a chore. And the thing is, the trick with this is that you want to make sure you're not putting a whole lot of pressure on the paint because this paint doesn't have any wax on it because uh, it's done underneath the protective film, so uh, you scratch it pretty easy. So as I had a lot of residue to get off, um, I worked hard to get it off uh, without making a big mess, but then I left you know some surface scratches on there that I had to address with the, uh, with the PSR. So 
I got one more factory piece to take off. I've got this protected down here, and that was a, a, a piece that I made myself to help with this three-quarter skirt. Uh, it's fine. I'm just going to leave it for right now and not mess with it right now. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get this thing off, and then we'll, uh, we'll get the new foot on. Okay, so here we are taking off this last piece, and I just wanted to show uh, the residue that was left over. There is a ton of residue. It just must be uh, the material and the product that they use, but it is... A, it's harder to get off, and it leaves a lot of adhesive residue after you take it off. So I'll be uh, doing the same thing here, doing a lot of work and a lot of elbow grease to get this adhesive off of this panel. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it's just got a ton of residue on. So it must be something with the uh, product that they use. So. We'll, uh, we'll work on that. Okay, so that was a job. Um, got it all off. Uh, quite a bit of work uh, laying down on the floor, but uh, we got it all off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take, actually just clean this area and prep it, get ready to apply the, uh, the new uh, paint protective film. So I'm just going to take my, uh, my solution of baby, uh, baby soap and water, about a 50-50, no, like, just like a drop, really. Um, bottle about half this is a 28 ounce bottle I usually fill it about halfway I just put a drop in there and that works out pretty good so we'll just spray this down clean it up and get the area ready to apply the new film just use that microfiber towel As I'm doing this, I'm trying to look in the light and just make sure there's not any scratches or anything that I missed that uh, I want to address before we get the film on there. Because uh, once you get the film on there, obviously it will protect it from scratches, but if you have scratches underneath, it will definitely show. So um, we'll clean this up and we should be ready to apply some new film. Okay, so we have, what I've done is I've actually created some templates. And just what I've done, so I've created a template here and templates for this piece here and this piece here. And really, this is just poster board, and it's kind of laid it out to where we want to have the protective film go on. So I'm just kind of laid this out, made the uh, made the pattern for it. And what I've done is I transferred that pattern over to over to the protective film. So really, it's just a matter of just kind of you know, laying it on here, making sure you're good. And one thing, one key thing to have is that make sure your hands are clean because if you have any grease, uh, dirt, or anything on your fingers, when you go to uh, peel this and separate this film back, then they'll transfer on the back side of it and it'll just look kind of, look kind of cruddy. So um, I'm going to try to find my, my tools. Oh, there we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and just get started. So what we'll do is we'll just spray a little bit of this soap water mix onto our area. That prepped and we ever any quest in finding the let me get this stuff apart. Okay, so I'm starting to get this apart. What I'm gonna do here real quick. Is I'm going to get, I wash my hands, and also just going to put some of this on here, just so my hands have this soapy mixture on there, and then we'll start separating this out. So what I like to do is just kind of spray it down. So. so break that out so it's got plenty of plenty of liquid on it. That way, it's just a little easier to apply when you're. Go and do your your application. All 
All right. And you lay it on here, and you've got plenty of soap and liquid on there, so you can, you can move it around without it really adhering a whole lot. And with this, I've got the template set up, so really you just kind of lay it on here. And I'm just right above this body line here, and I'm coming almost to the edge of the fender. I've got a little bit left over to kind of wrap around that. Uh, one thing I've done in the past is I've actually done black tape on here, uh, which is really just a pain. It doesn't look good, it's just kind of a pain. So I uh, cut this a little long to wrap around the edge of the doorway, so hopefully that'll help protect that, because that leading edge does catch some rocks. And then all you do is you just take your uh, your squeegee with the felt, at least, like I said, like use a felt tip, and just start working out the uh, working out the water. You just start working it down, and clearly, I got a neighbor that's blowing leaves or something. Apologize for that. A lot of this is just kind of playing off it and see where it likes to be. Taking this and taking it out, we're just going to keep working it out like that. We're going to back and forth to get all that water out. And sometimes here on these edges, you get some. Doing this, just to have to keep you know, just kind of keep this at about a 45 degree angle. I guess the panel will just kind of help help work those bubbles out. So we'll we'll work on this, get this guy out, and uh, move on to the next piece. <laughs> Getting around these edges can be a bit of a pain. Um, you just gotta just gotta stick with it. One thing you will notice also, uh, this being a dark car, I don't know if it's still in the darker cars, you probably won't notice as much of the lighter ones, but you'll see a little bit of haze back behind. Um, there's nothing to worry about. It's just the, the water and soap. So let it all evaporate out as you go. So don't worry about that. If you got a little bit of a, what looks like a little bit of a haze on there, it's not really a big deal at all. Ah, this caught the edge. It's good. All right. So that's pretty much about it. You just gotta kind of work it out and uh, make sure you're working out all the bubbles and getting all those out. Like I said, you're gonna have some, you know, little haze and stuff. You can't really see it. There'll be some hazy stuff. If you're in a dark car, uh, don't worry about it, that will all go away uh, when it evaporates out underneath the film. And that's it for that piece, and we'll come back to these other pieces here in a little bit. So the neighbor doing his leaf blowing kind of messed up my stuff, so I didn't want to record that and have that noise in the background. So I went ahead, I got this piece on, got this piece on, uh, I went on pretty slick. Uh, you know, just take some patience and just keep kind of working it and work the water out, and uh, you'll, you'll be just fine. So what we'll do is, like I said, I've got this, this piece here, wraps around, I'm covering the front edge here. What I need to do is I need to cut a piece that goes down in here. So I'll get, uh, I'll just cut a little scrap piece out and put that along that leading edge. That way the door, <clears throat> door edge is not catching any rocks because it will catch rocks and it will chip up. So got this piece done, got this piece done, got this piece done. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit the uh, driver's side. Now I think what I'm gonna do when I'm removing this factory stuff, I'm gonna try applying a little more heat. Maybe that'll help get the adhesive off of that uh, that protective film as I'm taking it off. If not, I'll also have to take the time, like I did over here with the uh, denatured alcohol and get it off. But uh, really not, not a hard project, um, pretty cheap. Really, when you consider buying a roll, that stuff is pretty cheap. You're doing it yourself and cutting your own templates. You're not buying the kits um, online and doing all that. So, and that way, if you do screw something up, which I did, I uh, actually screwed this piece up and had to uh, recut it. Yeah, you're not out that much, but if you buy those pre-cut kits and you screw a piece up, you're, you're kind of out of luck. So, uh, not a bad project, but certainly something that's worthwhile when you consider uh, what you're trying to protect your investment here with these uh, with rock chips and everything else. So, we'll get going on the other side and I'll talk to you in a little bit. 
Okay, so here we are on the driver's side. The other side's all done. I uh, got this, uh, the old paint protection film off. Uh, I think taking the uh, heat gun, giving a little more heat to the uh, stuff that came from the factory uh, certainly helped get the adhesive down. So we'll go ahead and start getting this applied on this side. Okay, so we got this wrapped up. Uh, I got the, uh, this is on the driver's side. I got the film up here on this going over here. Got it wrapped around the uh, door edge. Got this piece here replaced, wrapped around the door edge. Got this piece down here, so uh, pretty well done. Um, not, you know, it's not a bad project. It takes a little bit of, uh, a little bit of patience and, you know, not a ton of know-how, not real hard. Um, so I think, you know, really probably two, you know, really a difficulty of a two. It took about an hour and a half. Uh, obviously a little longer because I had to take the old stuff off. Uh, but about an hour and a half or so, so not terrible. Uh, but obviously easy investment and time to make uh, to you know keep your your rear fenders and rear fenders you know from getting all chipped up or anything else. So pretty easy project. Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, uh, do us a favor, pass it along, uh, share it with somebody. If you think it'd be of interest to somebody, I mean it's not this Corvette specific. You can do this on any car. Uh, there, I mean, obviously all cars have uh, spots that they'll scratch up or chip up from rock chips. So. Uh, do us a favor, you know, for 2019, trying to grow the channel, trying to grow our audience. Uh, so share this along. Uh, we got lots of stuff coming up in 2019. So hopefully, um, you know, find some stuff between the C6 project, which we're going to start get, get work on that pretty quick here um, in earnest, get the uh, suspension work done, uh, get some aero stuff done, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, lots of good stuff going on there. And uh, yeah, obviously the C7, we got some trips. Uh, we got some other exciting news coming up I can't really share right now because we're trying to finalize, but uh, you know, looking forward to 2017 or 2019, sorry. Uh, it's gonna be, a, gonna be a pretty exciting year, so looking forward to it. Um, if you like this, again, please give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, and we will talk to you soon, thanks.